such a little actress. <laughs> you love the camera. <laughs> <laughs> And for my first trick of the day, I will now attempt to bake muffins with toddlers. Well, we could do it together. Well, we could do it together. Okay, girls, let's do this. Could you cut it for us? We're going to do it together. Awesome. So what are all the ingredients in muffins? Okay, great job. Look, chocolate chips. Giddy up. They're chocolate chips. Check on Louie. Okay, now we need what? What's next? Uh, eggs. Okay. Uh, we need eggs. And well, I want to use that. Uh, I, I, I want to make uh, that. those. Uh, we're we're that. Make Letting Pete go first. I want to do it now. Okay. Thank you. And we have to mix it into a bowl. Not yet. Okay, Pete's turn. Ah. Okay, so we have water. Yeah. Now, what else do we need? Mix. We have mix. What else do we need? Uh, what? Called oil. Oil. Wheel. I, I, I need to do it. I don't know. We need one. There is one. You're right. I need to do it. We'll let you see the finished result. Now I have to mix it. We got Papa Chef coming no, downstairs. No, no, no. We're like ruining Papa. the surprise. We're trying to make it a surprise for our Papa, huh? Shh. I'm gonna get ready. Don't look. <laughs> Don't look. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You guys did that really quick. Fourteen. We have fourteen. So we're making fourteen cookies. I mean, muffins. Okay. Good counting. What else do we need to do? Uh. What's next? I know. What? Put it. You're right. Oh, Mama didn't turn on the oven. That's kind of an important part. That's kind of what takes the longest time. Okay. Here we go. What are we doing? 425. Whew, I look rough today. We're going to go to a play date. And Which play the date? girls don't even know. We're going to go to our friend's house. Which friend's house? We're going to go to... Corbin and Gavin's. <gasps> and play with all their toys. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. After we eat breakfast and everything? Yep. You know it. What? You know it. into the camera like that. She's born for this. You were born for this. Bombits. Okay, bugaboos. It's fruit time for muffins. That'll take up the time between Lou's over here. Shell and like a villain. No, you have to test every single one. One. <laughs> Louie's going through a, a lot of anxiety about separation. So I'm saying, Louie, where's your mama? Where's your mama? Here I am. Here I am. Don't worry. Don't cry. I'm right here. Where's mama? Where's mama? Here I am. I didn't leave you. Brother finger, brother finger, where are you? Yeah. Here I am, here I am. Here I am. How do you do? Here's your mama. Baby finger, baby.
baby figure, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Are you all done? Are you all done? Okay, baby, we get it. We get what you're laying down. We get it. Is it cold or freezing? I don't know, you tell me. Yeah, it's probably not freezing outside, per se. But... What do you think? Le temps est ensoleillé. On va aller faire, on va aller jouer avec d'autres enfants. Le prochain euh, jour férié, c'est. Do the surprise here. Oh, oh they're, they're, they're okay. You okay? You got it. Here, we'll do it together. That is pretty hot. Okay, let's do the surprise. I said to you today that you can have the window for my dream. That's so kind. Okay. Oh la la. Que joli waitress. Here you go, Papa. Wow, merci. I love the mug, Papa. I mean, Mama. <laughs> it's not really hot. Voilà. Merci, ma chérie. Tu donnes un gros bisou à ton papa? Et <laughs> c'était Fifi aussi. Yeah, papa, can you, I want you to play with me. Merci, merci les filles. Merci. Mm -hmm. Merci. Merci. I want you to play with me. You took a good nap, baby. You didn't cry. And you just put yourself to sweep. And Mama just talked you down. Talked you down on that ledge. She said, baby, time to lay down. Time to lay down, buggery boy. Sneakers on. Let's go. Oh, I this will have to wait. I'm going to go see my our friends that we... It's kind of a cool story. I met this friend, Marissa. Um, at a play place. We were just sitting next to each other. I was actually sitting next to her mother-in-law and both Louie and her baby were only a week apart. They were brand new newborns and we were bringing our older kids to play. We started to talk. We had so much in common and you know what? I just said, hey, we've got to exchange numbers. And you know, I do this a lot. I've done it a lot. I take chances if I meet people and I like I've learned that like I wish a lot of times I wish I would have like gotten their number like it seems like a really cool person. Now I've been burned several times sometimes people are just being friendly I find and it's part of like a multi-level marketing thing or something to that effect but I've had a few times where I've genuinely like she's one of my favorite friends we have so much in common so we have a really good time together and it's just like was a really good lesson to me that you know it's worth it to be friendly and it's worth it to reach out and try I just met somebody else like this yesterday and you know it doesn't always work out but like I said it's like even if it works out one in 15 times like I've now got a great friend with a really cool uh, like exact same little family as me she's basically got a husband that works all the time and she's got three little kiddos exactly the same age and she keeps them mainly at home with her and we just have like a lot in common so it's really nice so I love her next time you're talking to somebody and you think oh this could never really turn into a real friendship whether it be on the plane or the park or whatever it doesn't hurt to uh, get their phone number see what happens text a little bit meet at a public place Turn into a beautiful present. No, he got him a great present. It's a. Uh... <laughs> Beagle face. Are you reading Olaf a story? Baby. I think it's gonna be fun to have a boy. I can't wait till he's running around in superhero outfits. Homeschools. Um, I did, and then she went away. Um, okay, guys. You chose to play outside? 
It's actually not bad out here. It's like crisp. It's both so fun and hard to talk about parenting. Like, it's so interesting to like see and think about how other people do it. And like to talk about struggles and like try and figure out like solutions. But in the end, it's so hard to really know what what the solution is for anybody, including yourself. So it is a very like hard thing, and something I think about all the time. And even in trying to explain like how I raise my kids, like it, there's a lot of struggle there because it's like I have a hard time describing exactly what it is and I'm trying to boil it down into something digestible I don't know I'm not very like I wish I was better at like explaining it like I want to write blog posts I want to like send stuff out into the world just the way I take it in you know everything I am is because of things I've read or of course my parenting that I received so it's an interesting I borrow and pick from everybody so like I love when I get little tips of wisdom and I want to be part of that just like you would turn in an old toy so that some other kid can love it like I want to give out ideas into the world that some mother can get and like use it and then pass on to the next person like there are ticks, trips and blah, 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 tips and tricks that do work but then again they'd only work for some kids and in some spaces and so everybody's different but at the same time like there have to be kids out there like mine, and there has to be parents out there that struggle with the same exact things I do. It's just me. I got to get more, uh, more able to speak, which I've been working on. So hopefully this blog, 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 will help me get a little more wordly, worldly, wordy, wordy. I need to do like exercises, like Bella sits on a blue boom bonnet. So that I can enunciate. Anybody's got any tips? Let them my way. All right, sit down. Have a good quiet time. Now, you, Mr. Carnap guy. Yeah. I knew this day would come. Mm, my poor baby. He's been, we had six months of just sweetheart angel boy. And now it's, it's getting hard. <laughs> he just broke a dish. He got really scared. He's just screaming for everything he wants. He's got all of his teeth. He's crawling, he can't communicate. It's that hard age where you get really frustrated. Mama, yes, Mama. what can I help you with, child? Mama, can you help me with my puzzle? Sure. Thanks. You want to do it on the red table? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I gotta go puzzle. We still love him, of course, so much. But I um, have to admit I'm getting a little overwhelmed and frustrated with just how busy he is and into stuff. But I do know that it passes. I know that I remember this with my other kids. Like, It's a miscommunication thing. So I'm trying to teach him his sign language. He's getting more and all done done pretty well. And I remember after I got them to do sign language and taught them this simple tip of when they go Mah! and they scream for everything they want, we just say, we don't talk like Mah! we talk like ah. And soon enough, like even tonight, he was doing examples of lowering and lessening his tone. So it's just a tone thing. You can still squawk for what you want, but it has to be in a ah uh, tonal way. It's worked for both of our girls before. <laughs>